Hey everyone, welcome back to the NASCAR Thorn 2004 Career for a 7, possibly a, a 36. Season 3 of the career, we're going to Texas. Possibly Talley, it depends on how well we do here, but... Um, hopefully we do well at Texas. I'm going to make this intro short. Um, so, as far as the top of this are concerned, two more races for the wheel balancer. As far as the garage is concerned, uh, two more races for everything to be overhauled. And as far as the points are concerned, by the way, we're going with the primary car. Uh, we're five points behind Ryan Newman Hayden in Texas. So, that's pretty much short three. As far as the, the guys that are mad at me, uh, the 26, uh, Kevin Grubbs, the only one. Everybody else has dropped a little bit, which is always nice. And um, I think that's it. So, about under a minute, which is quick, but without further ado, let's jump right into Texas. Uh, the Texas, we're gonna use the best stuff we got, so that's what we're, that's our strategy. Uh, this is the best one we got, and uh, this is the best one. Car in a '73, that's the best rated car we've gotten. So anyway, let's jump right into. Actually, hold on. Um, I'm, change plans. Change plans. I want to save the best stuff for Talladega. Actually, hold on. I want to save the best stuff for Talladega. So '73. Um. Actually, I want to change my mind, because I want to save the best stuff for Talladega, so... Uh, let's see... I, I, I just realized Talladega's next, sorry. 72, that's the change. Um... We're, we're gonna save the best stuff for Talladega, so let's jump right into Texas. Right, so here's the set we're gonna use for today's race. Um, none, none change. Um, we'll do 23 for the tires for qualifying, and we'll hire back up for the race of 23 here. Uh, 73 and a half, 45 there. This is Dale Reynolds' setup, and uh, let me run a few practice laps. We'll jump right into qualifying. Not the best corner, but that's okay. Alright, pretty good lap, heading to turns three and four. Let go of the offset just a little bit. Hope it's a solid lap. That got us the pole, buddy. Way to go. Probably by a country mile, so we'll see how well we do here. And Jesus Christ, about half a second. Jesus, we were like the fastest car. Not half a second, about four tenths. Jesus. Alright, um, we're gonna hire the tie pressures up. Let's go into domination mode here, hopefully. Welcome to Texas Motor Speedway in Fort Worth, Texas, and today's NASCAR Winston Cup race, the Samsung Radio Shack 500. What kind of a track is Texas? Finding the right spot to make a move at this track is tough, and doing it at the wrong time will cost you big in the form of body damage. A slip up, even for a moment can send you banging off the wall before you know it. Mm -hmm. The NBC car will begin the race in the top five in points. Gaining on the leader is tough when you're in the top five in points. It takes you having a good race and the leader having a bad one in order to gain anything substantial. Dale Jarrett is in the top five in points so far this season. Oh yeah, and all of these guys in the top five are fighting hard week in and week out to gain as many points as possible. It's harder to pick up spots once you're into the top five. So Ryan is starting fourth, and let's get going here in Texas. Alright, me and Grandpa Mar on the front row. Let's get rolling here in Texas.
So I run away. Uh, let's get to the first couple corners, hopefully smoothly. A little drip down at the corner. Let's just get through turns three and four. I'll probably go into relaxation time. Oh, fuck it just a little bit. I didn't get the corner like I wanted. All right, we're going to lead the first slide. Most importantly, to get our five bonus points. I fucked it up. Ooh, I did lead the first slide, though, but not what I wanted. Oh, boy, now I'm behind these guys. Now I got to get the lead back. Not as chill as I hope, but that's all right. We can always get the lead back. We'll, we'll, oh, ah, bad end. Tread to the corner. Just got, now I gotta get, gotta get the lead back and relax. I am one of the fastest cars here. I'll pass in the grass. Ooh. And we got the lead back. Hold on, let's get to the corner. All right, let's go through turn three and four without dying this time. All right, looks like we're gonna get through fine. All right, we're gonna get through beautifully. Now let's relax. All right, hang on the back stretch. Gonna pit this time. Gonna go for all four tires. None's very hot. None's really having to go on the wall in turn three. There you see it right there. Uh, I'm gonna pit this time. Gonna go for all four. Hope for a solid stop. Don't speed. All right, we're not gonna speed. All right. And let's hope for a solid stop here. Beautiful stop! Well, I can fly right in front of the leader and get my lap! I think I'm still on the lead lap! <laughs> oh, that's Ryan Newman leader, so he got his five points, so I pull up right in front of the leader, and I'm gonna get my lap back! Alright, beautiful scenes, I'm still on the lead lap! I think he's pinned this time, so beautiful timing! So basically how things work, and there goes Newman down pit road, and we're gonna get the lead back. I think this time here we're gonna get the lead back, but yeah, we're barely on the lead lap. So far, nothing's really happened. Just gotta just stay on the lead lap, and no, all right. Well, we're gonna wait till everybody cycles through. Well, looks like everybody's pit. We're gonna cycle out to the lead, and we got about 13 laps to go, so. Let's relax! Alright, off the turn four, it's gonna be two laps to go here in Texas. Just dominate, domination station. 11 and a half second lead over Ryan Newman. I did lead the most laps, so we're gonna get at, we're gonna have at least a 10 point lead over Ryan Newman heading into Talladega, which is nice. And last time I was straight to my track, I won the 500, so hopefully we do a little better, but. Anyways, off the final corner. Can see the white flag. Final lap of Texas! Alright, hang down the back stretch. Hang to turn three to the finish line. Gonna take the chicken flag of Texas! Yes! Third win of season three! I think I won here all three times, so yes! And this was my first win here. And speaking of Texas, this is where Dale Jr. got his first Bush Series and Cup Series win. Yes, right here. It's where he got his first Bush win and Cup win. Right at this track, 98 and 2000, uh, no, I think, yeah, 98 and 2001, he won here. And this is our third win of season three, and we won here all three times, so that's nice. Where's Victor, oh, there's Victor Lane. Wait, hold on, where's the garage? 
Oh, here it is. Mm. Ow! A rare caution-free race. That's pretty amazing. It says a lot about the quality and true talent of these NASCAR Winston Cup drivers. The NBC car really pulled away from the field in the closing laps. Not the most exciting hey, yeah, for the fans, but I'm sure he's quite happy with the win just the same. That was it. Wow. This is all the highlights when I was dominating the whole race. That's crazy, man. But hey, I won. That's all that matters. I got the checker flag. Got my third win of the season. There's me taking the checkered flag. Alright, the victory lane for the third time in season three. Yes! There's the Booty Boo Trophy. I got three of those now. Yeah, last season, or in my rookie season, I won here with the pass coming to the white flag. I dominated last season, and now here I won here again. So, we're a lot of money in the bank, too. Uh, let's take a look. We're not all, we're not, we led all but five laps. Uh, Ryan Newman did lead some laps, so we're only going to have about... Uh, we got 185, so we'll, we're, we're going to have about a five-point lead heading <laughs> into Talladega, so let's shut the points. All right, we got bonus race time, uh, but first let's shut the points. Um, yep, like I said, we're up by five points over Ryan Newman, so that's nice. Uh, nobody mad at us, which is always nice going to Talladega. Uh, we're going with the same scheme because Dale Jr. won four races in a row at Talladega at one point, believe it or not, so... Anyway, uh, team management, one more race for the wheel balancer, and one more race for everything to be in, which is always nice. So, uh, spot, let me, let me check on the sponsorship. We got, okay, six more races for the primary, secondary, and the, um, McDonald's, or the team. So we got three, six more races left. Obviously, I'll remember once we get everything down, so. Anyway, um, we're gonna say my progress here. After this race, I'll see my progress, so... Anyway, we'll show me the Talladega. Talladega, we're gonna use the best stuff we got. So basically, the same one, we'll go with this one. And this time, I'll use the best stuff, so... And car in the 72, not bad. Um, anyway, let's jump right into Talladega. Alright, so, base, here's the sale. I'm just gonna jump right into qualifying because... All you do at this track is you're going wide open. That's all you're doing around here. So here's the setup we got in the car. It's basically the same setup that I used in the 500. It's a little bit different gear ratio. And uh, let's try to put the car on the pole.
Alright, off the turn four, heading to the finish line. Like I said, just full throw around the track. Um, 52-27, again 34, but then again the first lap is always slow, but we got another lap here, and let's see where we start. Alright, we're on the front row. Second, okay. I mean, that's good. We're on the front row, and we're qualifying the top ten, which is always nice. How much did I miss the pole by? Hold on, let me check. How much did I miss the pole by? Jeez, barely. I lost about a tenth, but... But, hey, we're on the front row. That's all that matters. So, anyway, let's jump right into the day. The NASCAR Winston Cup Series visits the famous Talladega Super Speedway today for the Aaron's 499. This is Joe Moore and Barney Hall for MRN, and we're live to bring you all the action. We should be in for quite a show today, Barney. Lots of different opinions about this restrictor plate racing. These drivers love the speed. It's what they live for. In fact, some think they should run with no plates at all, so the cars would be more spread out. Speed would be well over 215 miles an hour. But that doesn't seem to bother most of the drivers. It's the fact that they can't break away from each other with the plates on the cars that bother them. The NBC car leads in points so far this season. What a great thing really? it must be to have the points lead. Although you also have to think about the guys closing in behind you. One bad day at the track and you got to start climbing the ladder all over again. Sterling Marlin really knows his way around these restrictor plate racetracks, doesn't he, Barney? You're right about that. Five of his first six wins were at Daytona and Talladega, and he's had a bunch of poles here as well. He knows how to maneuver around in the pack and always seems to find a way to get to the front. Terry Labonte has been called the Iceman because of his cool demeanor under pressure, but maybe the nickname Iron Man is more appropriate. You know, that's right. Labonte set a record for consecutive race starts with 655. That's over 20 years without missing a race. Michael Walter but now in the front row. Let's get rolling here at Talladega. Almost got the lead there with Mikey, but I'm oh, sorry, Gordon did not mean to do that. Okay, I gotta get back on track smoothly somehow. I gotta get behind somebody. Harvick, you go. Okay, let's share that with Harvick and try to get the lead. Well, we gotta share that, but we, well, we gotta get up to speed. And then we gotta share, we gotta share that with Harvick right now to try to get up to the front. But anyway, um, looks like we're gonna relax and try to get up to the front. Alright, so Harvick now called the Craven. I don't know Craven, you son of a bitch! All right, we caught Craven. Craven's trying to be a blanket pants, but hopefully we hopefully we can get by him. He is not. How dare he? I've got to get by Harvey to try and work with Craven. Oh boy, I don't want to do that to Harvey here. Hopefully Harvey can get by him without a problem. We should get by him, I hope. Oh, maybe, oh yeah, he's underneath him. We're gonna push him, and then we got Gorn up there as well. All right, he's underneath Craven. No, he's not. All right, well, I'll leave, I'll leave Harvick. Oh, Harvick, can you get my Craven for the love of God? Jesus Christ, he doesn't want to get by him. And why is he going up against the wall? I, I ain't letting that happen. Craven, here. Let me get by these guys. I think getting by will help. I think Jeff Gordon's right in front of him. But let me get by these two, then I'll work with Gordon. Let's see if Gordon and I can get up to the front. I got to hope Gordon gets up. I hope Gordon gets down. All right. Jeff, get to the bottom. I'll work with you. We'll get up to the front. All right, so I'm really craving out the dust, and we're going to work with the 24s are working together, and let's see if we can run the leaders down. Busy. Leaders are in. All right, so everybody is hanging up here, bro. I'm going to stay out on our lap. Somebody's blowing up. That was Ricky Run that blowing up, but all right, well, we're going to leave a lap and get out five points. I'll take it. Why well, he didn't say it, but Harvick is second, but we're gonna pin next lap. We're gonna do lap six and twelve. 
Uh, for the guys that paid there, they're going to have to make about a third stop. So, we're going to pay a lot of 6 and 12. We're going to take... We're going to take rights on this stop, and we're going to take lefts on the second stop, so that'll be our strategy call. So we're going to head down pit road this time. We're going to do lap 6 and 12. So that'll be our strategy. I think at Daytona, we're going to do the same strategy around 6 and 12 also, but we're going to head down pit road here. We're going to go at the bread thing here, at the bread, like, scoring pylon. Have a gain on me. 70 miles an hour. Alright, oh, 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 got a hand on. Okay. Oh, I picked last. Well, that's alright. We'll go with Bryce until next time. Axe down, pick Bryce. Well, that's. Alright, we gotta get to the line quick. We gotta hurry up. We all came out. We gotta hurry. Go, go, go. Go, go. Alright, we took two tires. We gotta go. We gotta get to the finish. Oh, okay, never mind. We're good. We're good. Okay. Alright, we're good. Okay. What was that? Oh, Brett Bodai is out. Or Stan Bear, whoever that is. What the fuck just happened? Jesus. Okay, I think we're still in the lead lap. Let me look here real quick. Let me look. I think we're still in Chase Montgomery Lear. Um, we're still in the lead lap. Okay, we're still in the lead lap. That's good. Okay. Oh, we're, st we're staying out. We just pit. We gotta pit again, though. These guys going around out of fuel, so. Oh, man. I was waiting for it. I don't know why they stay out. That's gonna be another caution. I think. I don't know why they stay out. That's gonna be another caution. I'm waiting for that caution. I just know it's gonna happen. Mikey's closing in. Yeah, there it is. Knew it was gonna happen. I. I think we're gonna, we might as well pit, I'm probably gonna pit here and go, well, I don't know if we can pit, because we're gonna have to pit again, but, alright, we're gonna get back to the finish line. I think on this caution, we might as well make our second stop and go with our right side tires, so. I knew that it was gonna happen, though. Yep, there it is. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's like 1993 Rusty, and he's out. That's like 93 Rusty! When he was flying all over the place, and he's out! We must- I hope they pit! I'm pitting! I'm going with right side tires! Oh, they're staying out! Right side tires. Well, they're gonna have to pit also, so... I hope they don't run out of gas in front of me. I think some cars are going to pit behind me here. Yeah, they're pitting. Oh, the cars behind... The cars that stayed out under that last caution are pitting, so... I hope these cars in front of me don't pit. We're going to go with rights. I don't know why they stop. There's Christopher Pauly who was involved with that caution. We're deep in the field. Be careful. It's not working your We're way. We're 31st, but... The but everybody else has to make their second stop, so... I'm gonna be ready for it. Also, guys, I was ready for them to run out of fuel. I was ready for it. But, yeah, they, they still gotta make their second pit stop, so... I think I'm sitting in the right position because they still got a pit. They still got to make their second stop. And I just pit, so I feel like I ain't letting Flippity do that by. But yeah, they still got to make their third stop. I feel like I'm in the right position because I just pit and I can make it to the finish, but they still got to make their second stop. We'll see some pit here. 
Oh yeah, there they are, they're coming down pit road. So I made the smart call to head down pit road with that caution. And yeah, there they come. And because of that, I'm gonna gain a lot of spots because of it, so we're gonna wait for everybody else to cycle through, and I'm gonna get the lead back with about four laps to go, so let's relax until everybody pits. Hopefully. There's a caution! I think the race is over! And, oh, debris. I think the race is over, guys. Let's hope everybody pits here. <laughs> yes! I went to Talladega! <laughs> yes! I knew they were all gonna pit! <laughs> yes! One a stool win, Talladega! I'll take it! Yes! I don't know why they all went down pit road. <laughs> it shouldn't stay out, but oh well, we'll take it. We'll take the win. That's our fourth win of season three. I don't know how many wins are wrong. I think I, I, I don't know how many wins are wrong. I know if my all my wins build, I'm gonna do at the end of this career. It'll be there, but oh well. I mean, we'll take it. I didn't expect to win this one, but you know, I'll take it. It was kind of a shit show, but you know, we'll take it. It's our fourth win. We might as well take the wins while we can. Alright, let's head to Victory Lane. I know where Victory Lane is. Dale Jr. And remember, Dale Jr. Dale Jr. won here six times, and Dale Sr. won here ten times. Where's the entrance? Oh, here it is. Oh, there's Victory Lane. Ow. The NBC car doesn't look any different than when he started this race. Well, nope. It's going to be a happy crew when they get back to the shop. They can immediately go to work on next week's car without having to worry about fixing anything from this race, and that makes for a much less stressful atmosphere. The 124 car had some problems on the track with the 21 car. Well, when you're out there, How did that happen? You guys, some feathers are bound to get ruffled. Maybe after some time to cool off, they'll be back to racing with clear heads. I don't know what that was all about, but... We won it! We won! Uh, I did, I did that was gonna be... I don't know if we were gonna win that, but... Hey, you gotta take the wins while we can, so... Oh, they didn't show me this time. Yeah, that was, that was the final caution, but... We won! Yes! I wanted to caution, but anyway, it's a victory lane for the fourth time this season. Yes! 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 Yes. <laughs> Give me that trophy. Yes. Yes. I didn't know that that was possible, but you know, we'll take the win while we can, but all right, we led did we lead, we didn't lead, who led the most laps? Michael Walter led the most laps. R Ryan and Daly another lap. So, where did he finish? Uh, hold on. Uh, finish. Where did he finish? He finished. Oh my lord. We're gonna get, we're gonna get a huge point lead. Uh, 30th. That's a lot of points. We're gonna have a big point lead now heading into Martinsville. Alright, we'll take we'll take them while we can. Alright, so next part will be Martinsville. Uh possibly California. Probably not. Martinsville will probably be its own part because Martinsville tends to be chaotic, but um uh, Martinsville will probably be its own part then. We'll see. Uh let's see here. Uh, I, I think everything came in, didn't it? Yeah, everything. Okay, that engine thing came in. So we're gonna probably get an a, a engine one. That's five. 
Uh, yeah, so, and when the engine thing comes in, we'll get a body one, so. Garage, so the thing came in, so we're gonna build a new one. Yep, uh, 72. Uh, yeah, 72. So we'll build a new one for three races. Um, and, uh, shop additions. Um, we're gonna get an, en an engine one, boring plates. Um, that's three million for nine races, so we'll go with that. I mean, we got the money, so might as well do it. Uh, let's see here. Uh, there's, the chassis are still in good condition. Um, yeah, these are all still in good shape. And these are all in still good shape, so no work to be done. And let's check the points. And yeah, we got a big point in now. Now it's up to 112 points over Ryan Newman heading into Martinsville. So yeah, uh, next part is Martinsville. Um, I'll see you all in Martinsville next part. As always, have a good day, everyone, and take care.